Welcome back, everybody. I am Phil Marriott. I am delighted to say I'm joined by Daniel and Margaret from Guscus. How are you? Great. It's good to see you. Thank you for your time. I'm thrilled by your new album, which has just been released. I think it's your 11th studio album, isn't it, Mobile Home? That's right. It's it's um, That's our latest product. Have you found the last year, uh, with it being lockdown, has it affected you much in Iceland? Several lockdowns, but, but not so much. And we've been able to... Uh, work on music and uh yeah finish finish the album and uh focus on 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 you know things in our immediate uh, proximity it's of course we're doing uh, music and and being a musician these past year and a half so but i mean we've done we've done an album and and then it's it, it's all it uh, all went Okay, I guess. I love the album. I've got to say, I find it really exhilarating and I find it really intriguing as well as a as an experience because it feels like it is an album as a whole as opposed to just individual tracks. It feels like, it sounds a bit cliche, but you go on a bit of a journey when you listen to it and I find it really exciting. I must say also the live stream that you did last weekend was just amazing. It was so fantastic to see you actually performing those new tracks live as well. It was such a great show. So thank you for that. Well, it was it was a uh, pleasure. Was ours <laughs> doing this uh, live stream was uh, was quite mind blowing because it was uh, doing it was kind of an extension to releasing the album because the, the the album release day was the day before, and then we did this concert, and it was like it made it made made it made the uh, the event so much bigger for us, uh, and to be able to deliver the music in 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 live format to to our, our audience day after the studio album is released is is, is quite quite something and it it, it and, and quite an addition to to just releasing a, a a studio album. and and it was basically my first gig with those guys so oh, wow. it, it was so much fun and i mean me and daniel we had never you know interacted into, yeah 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 so so it was it was a good experience and, and I'm so excited to uh, do actual live shows. And of course, it's got a real energy to it, this album as well. It's your first album for, is it five years since the last album? Lights Are More Flexible, wasn't it 2017? 18? So have you been working on this new album since since then? Has it has it taken you five years to, to shape well, the I, album? Has it changed as well as, you, as you've been producing it? Well, actually, it, we, we started the work on this before this album like seven years ago when we finished our album mexico which was out in 2014 so yeah it's, it's been seven years for us working on it because some of those tracks that are on this album are are from are from um, that period when we uh decided to 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 take a different path with with our music when there was just me and biggie left in the band and uh, president bonco had left on other adventures and uh, um yeah, we, we wanted to explore that um, sound realm of uh, early 80s and, and late 70s, you know, where where you had those interesting um, arpeggios, uh, driven, synthesizer driven and, and, and interesting chord progressions and, 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 and slow tempo electronica pop. So that's what we wanted to uh, experiment with and investigate. And this is like, yeah, this is the the fruition of of that um, uh, experimentation, basically. You can definitely hear those influences. I think it sounds very exciting, but it still sounds really fresh as well. Obviously, you're harking back to the seventies, the eighties, though that those times with electronic music. It's definitely an influence from from that from that time. Um, um, but as you say, it's 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 quite. Uh, Contemporary as well because uh, I mean the the sound world is 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 is, is uh, you can say it's quite ours you know it's it's not uh, a replica of of the eighties it's more like influenced by it as well as the 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 concept like lyrically the concept on the album is is it's you know it's about our times and, and not and not the eighties <laughs> not the past so mobile home the title is that a nod to to lockdown it almost feels like a contrast it's like you kind of want to take the music and be with other people even though you started work on it say seven years ago does it it, it feels quite a nice kind of contrast to 
to the to the pandemic that we're you know that we're experiencing at the moment? It's not directly inspired by the pandemic, but the, the pandemic definitely gave us a time to focus on 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 every detail on on the album. But I think that the concept is more more classic than than just about the pandemic. It's it's about the um, you know the the distancing people how, how they communicate and and how they have created this parallel universe through their smart gadgets and and and, and technology and how they have uh, i don't know how they're living in this um virtual world basically trying to be the best version of themselves and 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 existing in in in, in just in the the palm palms of their hands you know and Margaret, for you, you've worked with the guys for a few years now, but you've also got the other band, uh, Verk, as well. Uh, does it feel refreshing for you to to be producing music with with Gus Gus, as well as doing the other stuff that you're doing? Yeah, definitely. I I had been like craving for a while to do something uh, new, and and I think it's uh, I mean it's always healthy to do something new, and uh, and I'm. I'm uh, getting to know a new persona through Gus Gus and uh, yeah, so it, it, uh, I'm very happy about this collaboration and, and because like I had always been, I've always been uh, so inspired by their soundscape, so perfect match, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I was just going to say that because your voice does suit the music really well. It's, it's like a musical marriage in heaven almost. It's like just a great, you know, great collaboration. It sounds so good together. It was, it was like winning the lottery to have Mark with Raun. And she has has this oh. celestial, you know, it's like it's, it's like celestial voice. It's, it, it was just magic to to uh, to have her with on this on this album. And 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 we are we're very happy to have the opportunity to work with her, her this great talent. There's a track on the album called Our World, which I'm, I'm guessing is about the frame that society puts on people and, and also the frame that some people choose to be in. Do, do you ever feel like that with your music, that people expect you to be a techno band or a, a dance band or alternative or even an art band? It, are you, do you find that quite limiting, that you know those restrictions have been put in a bracket? Mm -hmm. Uh, like we were never given a, a rat's ass about what anyone thinks. It's it's you know we we've we've explored so many um, genres and and uh, musical directions and and we we we've, we've just been a able from from the beginning to to uh, well it started out as an out as an art collect art collective and 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 we've always given us the artistic freedom to ex to explore and and, and to. Uh, quench our our, our, our our artistic thirst with with you know uh, different experiments and and uh, uh, um, yeah uh, excursion in in and excursions in um, in on, on the path of, of making music because your video is always really you know distinctive as well I think again that goes hand in hand with your music too so it's it's having that interest in the visual stuff because obviously when you started you were you know, you have that interest in film. The visual part has 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 been an well, it's been integral from the start of, of this band and and from this group. Uh, it's been well to begin with. It was yeah, it was a it was a film project, but then then it turned out to, into a more of a music project. But but it, it goes hand in hand. We 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 want it to be totally in, intertwined and 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 having a conversation the, the audio and the video. I mentioned earlier that the album sounds great as a whole. Is there any particular favourite track on the album that you both like, or do you think it just gels as a whole collection of songs? I'm very into Simple Tuesday at the moment. Yeah, love that song. <laughs> I've always been fascinated by the by the the fast arpeggio of of, of the of the of the of the track Silence. Mm -hmm. Silence is is probably my my favorite track at the moment do you find that that changes especially when you perform live that you know you could have a favorite one minute and then you'll go play live say a week later and it'll be something completely different definitely. yeah definitely i mean playing playing those the, those tracks live always gives them a new angle or, or a new dimension you know and, and, they, and they grow on you and, and and from you and and you know it's they, they go 
they grow in all, all kinds of directions and it's and it's uh, yeah it's just a uh, you know a, a, a vibrant or a dynamic relationship that you've got with your kids and what about yeah. the album, albums that you're listening to your your influences is there an album that you listen more more than others at the moment or are you listening to more classic classic albums from the past i've been for the past year listening a lot to I don't know how to say their name, Kruan Ben. Kruan Ben. But they're basically like an in instrumental chill band. And that's sometimes very just refreshing to listen to with no vocals. And I've been listening, I listen to a lot of old, very old stuff. Um, yeah. From yeah, the, like, I, think, I think it's good to, to have a mix of both, to li listen to. Yeah. Uh, the contemporary music and as well as the, the old stuff you know it's especially for for songwriting inspiration you know L listen to those great songsmiths of, of the past oh yeah and i've i've been listening to the newest london grammar uh, oh, album it's quite amazing. good it's a bit I different to the previous two albums yeah. as well i like their change of direction yeah definitely i i was quite like scared that they w would be like going to the more pop but yeah. sometimes, somehow, they just like do it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, she's got such a beautiful voice as well. Yeah, such a beautiful voice. Talking of great voices, I spoke to the Norwegian singer Aurora a while ago, and I spoke to Ooh. her about the isolation of, or, or sometimes isolation of living in Norway. And I'm guessing yeah. it could be the same maybe in Reykjavik or somewhere in Iceland where you, you find that uh, really good for your creative process. It, is there something about living there that, is more unique to say somewhere like living in a bigger city like say london or somewhere that's that's busier do you do you thrive on that as artists does, does it feel good for you to to have that inspiration winter time is kind of you know it's very dark and and gloomy and and it's it's uh i think it's necessary for for people living in in that sort of environment to uh to be able to escape into to to creating you know to to do creative stuff and, and um, play play with uh, art and such. I mean, it's it's a matter of survival basically to be able to uh, take refuge in, in in music making for me, at least. And yeah. in the summertime when it's when it's all when when the it's it's all bright, you know, twenty four seven. Then comes a different energy, and and you know that that's when you. I don't know. Charge your batteries and are more extrovert. And but in the in the win winter time, it's it's more more of a hibernation uh, hibernating state, right, Margaret? Yeah, you you couldn't have described it better. I I guess it's uh, yeah. You need you need this you need this world to escape escape to when it's so dark and you know heavy sometimes you know have you written music somewhere else outside of iceland and and has that been different for you have you noticed the difference <laughs> i i actually i actually wrote my last album in the dark uh Daniel, in uh, london and in iceland at, in summertime and and it's my definitely most like pop uh bright album ever so so I guess it it matters what time where you know. Yeah, well, I think what matters the most though is is to is to uh, create um, a work environment where you where you can just concentrate for for a for a length period of time, you know, for at least a few days in in a row that so you can um, you can get the get the flow going and, and, and keep it going until you, 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 you know, you reach some result, you know, in, in, in music making or songwriting. Um, and we've done that quite a few times. We've gone into to, uh, summer cabins or something, you know, the, like, uh, you know, out in the countryside where we've been totally isolated from, from, from civilization and, and, and just been able to focus and create. It's so it's it's the best feeling when you like get hyper focused, you know, and you're in this like sweet spot in your creativity. That's the best feeling. With the I don't know the powers above or something. It's yeah, yeah. It connects. <laughs> Somebody that features on this album who also lives in Iceland is John Grant. Uh, you've ha had him part of uh, of your work 
for, for a few years now. And he was also on the live stream last weekend. It was great to see him there. Because I completely forgot, obviously, that he was living there. Because I was thinking he was in London. And then when he showed up, I was like, oh, wow. I was quite surprised. But then I remembered, obviously, he lived there. Like you say, you've worked together before. How, how has that relationship developed? For, for Iceland to have a big musician like John Grant living here is, is quite a catch. Um, he's, he's, a uh, he's such a, I don't know, open-minded spirit and, 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 and willing to, to try different things. He and Big Key have, have a great musical connection. Big Key actually produced one of his albums, um, Pale, Pale Green Ghosts. Yeah. From that, I, I, I guess they develop developed the friendship and, and, and he's just become a good friend and, uh, and when we were working on this track, Love is Alone, he seemed like, you know, quite the obvious addition to that, you know, to, 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 to the taste of that song. And we should mention the video as well, because it's, you know, perhaps couscous as we don't know them, <laughs> as we've not seen them before, which I thought was great. Such an amazing video. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to watch. Creepy, but brilliant in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like disturbing, but I yeah. love it. I've just seen Churches have just uh, released a new song with Robert Smith of The Cure. I was just wondering if you had any, you know, artists that you'd love to work with in the future, any, you know, dream collaborations, or maybe something that's in the pipeline that we haven't heard yet. Oh, tricky question. Mm. And that applies to Burke as well. Churches working with Robert Smith? No. Yeah. Yeah, and he oh. took off their, their new album that they've just released the track. It's... Sounds great. It's more guitar -y than what, what we knew Churches before, but I guess that's his influence, isn't it? Because he's co-written co -written the track. It's great. Okay. Sweet. I think we, we'll, we'll just have to listen to the music, to the tracks we're making, and then and then maybe someone pops up. I don't think we have anyone else in mind, except for maybe you, Margaret. Can I say one? Yeah. Uh, I think that would be, like, brilliant. To do a to do a Gus Gus featuring Grimes. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> that would be uh, so. Yeah. Cool. I was just thinking about the the thought of losing your hearing, and obviously very important for you with your careers. I DJ and I'm a broadcaster, and I can't imagine not hearing if you didn't have that sense. Can you imagine doing something else? Because Again, with the visuals, you know, you've got to have them both together because that's what makes it more exciting, I guess. Could you imagine that, not being able to produce music? Well, if, if, if you're missing your hearing, then, then you're, you're at quite a loss. And, and that, was just, that would just be sad. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't really ima imagine it. But, I mean, Beethoven, he, he managed to do some, some work after losing his hearing. But, um, but as you say, it's... it's, it's it, it has to be uh, uh, like uh, uh, an experience that goes hand in hand, you know, both both seeing and hearing, you know. But um, well, it would be horrible, wouldn't it? It would be horrible. I've actually been like, it pops up now and then. This like this thought of like, what would I do if I would lose my hearing? Because I've been I've been uh, uh, having some ear issues like the past months so Did i'm it, just like i'm so like thankful for my <laughs> hearing so uh yeah it's uh it's not it's not a good feeling to have like ear issues so uh i i really hope that i'll be able to keep my hearing yeah you don't you don't take it for granted i remember getting tinnitus years ago and thinking oh my god if it just if my hearing went i wouldn't know what else to do because it's what i'm passionate about just do yeah, that. I actually got tinnitus this January, so uh, I've been like dealing it's with scary. that. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah, quite scary. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck with Mobile Home. It's such a fantastic album. Of course, you're touring. You're playing live in November. You're coming to London. You're playing. Earth. <laughs> is that quite daunting with with lockdown, or is that quite exciting? Because I, I guess you haven't done it for a while. Well, I, I think it's going to be just very welcome in, in our lives, back in our lives, and 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 it, we'll, we'll uh, appreciate it much more than we did before. And was that live stream more exciting for that reason, that perhaps you haven't played for a while, it was almost like you got that buzz back again? Yeah, we did get that. I did get the buzz again, although there weren't, you know, 
crazy audience in you know in front of me uh, uh, but but just I don't know just being absorbed by the music and just being in the music and you know dance around and sing your heart out this is what you know this is just makes makes my, my my day and my life basically so where you film that live stream correct me if I'm wrong was it filmed in the studio that and I'm going to try and pronounce their names it's Sika Ross Sia Ross yeah that's their studio yeah yeah amazing because I love the way you walked outside as well you know th throughout the set you went up the stairs and outside it was like a change of change of scenery it was really good really yes it's a, it's a really nice studio it used to be a swim swimming pool basically a small swimming pool oh, wow. but then they they just you know decorated it and and made it into a studio and it has some really nice uh, balconies and it's it's in the middle of the countryside basically or in the middle of a a, a, yeah. a town in a peaceful area of the town it's like a valley it's basically like you instantly get creative when you're there there's some some kind of a there's a vibe very good vibes there yeah yeah Fantastic. well good luck with the album the vinyl version i think is coming out at the end of the year is that right later this year yeah in july probably july august yeah and the cd is available and also it's available on digital platforms too thank you so sure, much yeah. for joining me it's really great chatting to you wish you all the best thank, thank you, you. Phil. nice to meet you